So last time with the 6502 emulator, we just did branch, well, we did one of the branch instructions, which was branch if zero flag set BEQ. So we've only got that one working and haven't got any of these other branch instructions working. So uh, I want to get those working today, but I thought I'd start just by getting branch. So I'm branching if zero flag is set, but also there's a branch if zero flag is clear. So it's kind of like the opposite of that. So I want to try and get in a test to do branch if uh, zero flag is clear or branch on not equal, I suppose that means without having to rewrite tons of code and without having to rewrite tons of tests. Cause we've got a good suite of tests for like branching forwards and branching backwards and so forth on that BEQ instruction. I think for the further tests, I will only maybe just write the forward test and we'll refactor the code. So it's all using the same code path. So I think that's a good idea as it stands right now. So branch on not equal is if the zero flag is clear, then do the branching. And these all work in the same way as the branch if uh, equal, which is just um, takes the correct number of cycles or whatever, depending on whether the branch succeeds or not. So the first thing I'll probably do is just, I will just copy the branch. Uh, we've just got branch forward when zero is set. So we'll just do this one test for the rest of them, I think. And in this case, this will be, um, what will it be? This will be branch on not equal. Can branch forwards when zero is not set? So it's kind of like the opposite test to the other one. This is branch on not equal. Um, and it has to be zero flag is not set, but this time we do branch still. So it will go to there. So, so branch on the zero flag, this is branch. If the zero flag is clear, zero flags clear there. We're going to branch forward by one and it skips over FF02 and it goes to FF03 and that's what we're testing there. I think that's a good test for that and we'll, I'm not going to bother doing lots of extensive testing on the rest of the addressing modes in the hope that I can just reuse the exact same code that I did for that first test and we'll reuse the same code for all of them just to save writing hundreds and hundreds of tests that probably are all going to pass anyway. So let me put this instruction in or the name of this instruction uh, d0 so i think that should compile and give me a failing test which it does which instruction not handled so that's absolutely fine let's just check that's right zero flag is not set and it branches forward yeah i'm wondering if i should do the opposite test as well I'll just do the, maybe I'll just do the one test. I'm not sure whether it's just wasting my time doing multiple tests for this. If I know that I'm going to like use the same code to do it when we've already got tests, we've got, an, we've got a good suite of tests for one of them. I'll just do the one test for now and I'll make the assumption that we are refactoring code so we don't write extensive amounts of tests. So let's just get this one working and let's do it by refactoring the existing code. This is the equal test. Now you could just copy and paste all this and do the not equal test, but it's, it's almost the same code. Um, so what we really want to do, turn this into, let's just factor this out. So I'll do it as a, I think it can just be done like one of these lambdas basically. Let's put that code in there. Um, and it's just called branch uh, branch if and instead of like hard coding the, the Z flag in there uh, we can have value and then we can have the condition so I think that's what we want um, it needs this so Instead of testing the, the zero flag here, we test that the value that we passed in is equal to the condition that we passed in. And, it, and if so, we do all this nonsense here. And I think we need the same things that we did on this one. We need the memory and the cycles to be passed in. I think that's what we want. We've just swapped out the zero flag test for actually we pass in, uh, I'll call it test. Um, I'll call it test and expected.
maybe that makes more sense. So we branch if we test that and we expect that. I just refactored out the branching into a function. So we should be able to put this back in where it was before into BEQ and it's branch if the zero flag is true because that's what it really did before, isn't it? Now we can get rid of all that and that's like a self-contained thing that we can keep reusing on all the other flags. Let's just see, we should still have one failing test. Which, is it the correct failing test? Yeah, so we just got the, that refactoring didn't change anything, that's what we wanted to know. And we still have the not equal, um, not working. So what this means now is this not equal one can actually just be done like that. So we branch if the zero flag is false. And it, I think that just makes that work, which it does. So that's that's pretty cool. So we can just do one of these tests for each one of the different modes or different branching modes. So we've got carry flag. Uh, so we've got BCS for branch if carry flag set. So let's do that one. B, uh, BCS can branch forward when carry flag is set. So we do the carry flag is C, is it? Carry flag is set, B, C, S. Three cycles, if it works, it doesn't go, not going over a page. And I think that's it. So let's put the B, C, S in. <clears throat> so hopefully this is just, this is just doing this over and over again. So this is B zero. You can see that they're all ending in zero. I think is that mean that the addressing mode, the relative addressing mode is encoded in those last four bits. That's probably what that means. So that's how the processor would actually do this correctly. I think it's like we're doing it in just a switch statement, but the processor actually decodes this, this byte into smaller nibbles and looks at the things that it's doing in it, which would be a way of doing the emulation actually. Yeah, so that's, like we've got a failing test for that. Let's put that one in. So these get really easy now. Um, BCS. This is branch if the carry flag is set. So it's carry flag true. And that should make that pass, which it does. So definitely just doing the same thing over and over again now. So it's branch if we've got a carry flag not set. BCC, branch carry clear. Can branch forwards when the carry flag is not set. So the opposite test now. This is false. It's BCC. And same address. Yep, so let's put that one in. So this is BCC, this branch is when the carry flag is false. That should make that pass. Excellent. And then we just keep going. So we've got the carry flag, we've got the zero flag. Let's, we've got negative flag. Negative flag, which is just N. So we've got negative flag set, negative flag clear. So let's do both those at the same time. Two more failing tests. And we can put those in. So B M I, which is the negative flag. Branch on minus negative flag. Is that the one? Which one? I'm confused here. Branch if negative flag is set. So if negative flag is set. 
from yes it's branch on minus and this one will be branch if it's not minus which is BPL so that's positive and I think that's two more which it is and have we done them all except the overflow flag that's what we're on B BVC BVS so it's branch overflow clear branch overflow set so why don't I just put these in now and stick in a couple of tests for those So we've not extensively test all the other modes, but because I know that I'm using the same function to call them all, I'm going to leave it like that for now. So that's two more failing tests and let's stick those ones in. So this is branch on overflow clear and that's the overflow flag is false and BVS branch when the overflow flag is true. Oops. Right, I think. Wow. Oh, that didn't work. What happened there? BVC. Can branch forward when overflow flag is not set. BVC. Uh, have I got the right flag here? Something I've done something wrong. Uh, because it's I've done the wrong instruction. BVC. Okay. Right instruction, that's what we wanted. Is that done? Excellent. That that is all the branching instructions done because they've only got this one addressing mode. Um, so that's really good. So, and we just did, we just reused all the same code wrote for all the branching. And I think it reads quite well. Branch if flag Z is true. Branch if flag Z is false. Branch if flag C is true. I think that's actually um, quite a good way. Quite a good way of doing it. I think the only thing I'd like to do maybe, I don't even know if it's worth it. Should I have a fetch byte that can fetch a sign byte? instead of doing this static cast in there. Is it worth doing that? Because um, this would just be, I mean, it would really be the same thing. Does that, I don't know if that's gonna, that will compile because I've not called it. Let's just try that. I mean, let's just do like a tiny bit of tidy up on this. Um, fetch a sign by, and then we don't have to do this static cast. Maybe that's more readable. Is it going to compile though? It does. It didn't have to do the cast on that one because that automatically get that automatically got promoted to a sign byte there. If it still passes the test though, we don't care, which is good. It does. So we've got rid of that static cast um, and we have branching working. That is excellent. I'm very happy with those and they actually read quite well. I actually quite like the way they read, like it makes sense when you see it like that. I think that is branching done. Um, I think next time maybe we'll pick off some of the easy stuff. I mean, it's it's easy to implement, but it's got to be implemented. Otherwise, this emulator can't work. We could do the status flag changes, which should just clear and set bits in the status. And again, they've only got one addressing mode and pick off some more of the easy things like NOP. And it just leaves us with the arithmetic and a few other things and, um, and the interrupts. And this is starting to get to the point where maybe this could actually run a valid program, but not one with illegal opcodes in it, which would just fail miserably. So yeah, get to that in the next one. Maybe we do status flags and some other miscellaneous stuff. Um, so catch you in the next one.